Do you love MetaZoo, but you hate spending $40, $50, $60 buying into a product just to find out later you got completely hosed? Given that a new bolus of MetaZoo HeroQuest is landing right now, it seems like a great opportunity to talk about some safety issues regarding the HeroQuest product and everything you need to know how to not get hosed buying the wrong thing. Let's go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Argos Anonymous. I'm Argos. HeroQuest 2.0 is so exciting. It's starting to land. I think the first products that I saw land into somebody's backyard was on Saturday, just a couple days ago. Mine doesn't get here until tomorrow. So if it's on time, if it shows up, we're going to be opening these HeroQuest 2.0 blister packs on YouTube live. And we'll put like a little link up top where it's uh, over there. Yeah, that's that's the place. We're going to put that link up there so you guys can uh, go click on the show and click set the notification bell or whatever you want to see a lot of HeroQuest 2.0 opened live on YouTube. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if it's late, we'll do it the next day or, you know, whatever we have to do. But since it's not here... People have been asking, so by popular demand, I'm going to come with a video here to show you the difference between the HeroQuest 1.0 CDs that have the MetaZoo booster pack in them and the 1.0 CDs that do not, because they look shockingly similar. And if you don't know what you're looking for, you might spend $50 buying a HeroQuest Genesis CD that's sealed, that's new, that doesn't have any MetaZoo inside, even though it still says metazoo on the case the art is exactly identical so this is everything you need to know on how to not get hosed buying the original metazoo genesis 1.0 so take a look at this huh so so i'm going to tell you right now one of these cds there these are both new sealed genesis 1.0 hero quest cds one of these cds has a booster pack inside that contains one metazoo hero quest card and one of these cds does not can, can you identify any difference between the artworks on the on these CDs? Can you? The sides look the same. They're both shrink wrap. They're both sealed. Look at that. They both say MetaZoo and Dimac in the bottom left. I'm telling you, both of these cost seven dollars on the Aoki website. Here's the problem: when these products first went up for sale, Steve Aoki sold uh, on the Dimac site thirty thousand of the Genesis CDs that had the MetaZoo promo cards inside. And when they ran out, they started selling CDs that are just the CD that don't have the promo card. And so inquiring minds at MetaZoo Minds have been wondering, like, how do we know? And it turns out you can tell the difference, but if you didn't know what to look for, and especially if you didn't know these existed, you're gonna get potentially hosed especially as soon as people figure this out uh you're gonna see this on ebay and it'll be like new sealed metazoo steve aoki genesis cd 50 dollars, and then it'll just be a totally just a cd and then you do you even have a recourse for that if they like forget to tell you that there's a promo or no promo it's very interesting now on the dimac site they're very clear if you go to steve aoki's dimac site they, they very specifically say that these do not have the promo but like when you get the product it doesn't like say on the on the case you know no promo or anything so you just have to know what to look for so number one there are three things to look for the first thing that you can look for uh and this is as far as i can tell universally true but if somebody felt like being scammy they could probably like reseal it but the first thing is the original genesis cds that had the metazoo promo packs inside of them are heat sealed the shrink wrap is heat sealed and so what that means is it has a seam all the way around the wrap is going to have a seam it's not as clean looking right it's going to have some parts where it's kind of like crinkled up on itself on the other side here we have the seam going all over here here's the seam going across here it's like it's like not even on the edge it's coming on the back it's a nice messy original plastic wrap seam here it's getting here's another one you see this like it's got this ridge going along the side of it where they used heat to kind of like melt the edges together that's how these were sealed so that is the first thing you can tell because these these two hero quest cds have promo packs inside and this one does not now take a look at the shrink wrap on this uh promo list cd this is a typical cd shrink wrap where it's folded and like it uses like a glue Basically, so you have these like these corners on the edge here where they're kind of folded over each other. It, you're not going to see any of the ridges in the plastic. It has not been heat sealed, right? This is just like a folded, a typical folded and glued 
shrink wrap on this. So that's the first difference. The second difference, and this one's great because you can tell pretty much right away in pictures, is it turns out they have different codes on the back. So the product codes are a little bit different. When you look at these barcodes here, the last six digits in these CDs that have promo cards is going to be 17816. And then there's a one. And then the CDs that do not have promo cards, they end in 17815 and then a four. So again, the promo cards are present in the six one CDs. And then the five four CDs are a different product because these are the CDs that do not have the promo cards in them. So every single promo CD that I have ends in this 17861 and then they ran out and they had to print a new batch and since they're a little bit different thankfully they gave us a different number on the back so that's cool the third thing is these actually do weigh a little bit more than the ones without the pack which makes perfect sense and i'm going to show you what that looks like okay so here is a super fancy schmancy scale and what i'm going to show you is that this is the this is the aoki hero quest genesis cd that does not have the pack in it right does not have the metazoo pack in it so it does not have that bumpy ridgy um heat sealed shrink wrap and the last number in here is a four instead of a one and this is what it weighs so if you weigh a HeroQuest CD that does not have a pack in it, we're coming out at about 56 grams, okay? Now there's going to be, is there a little bit of variance in the weight of everything in the world? Yeah, absolutely. But what we're basically demonstrating here is that the, the CDs with the pack are coming out at about 58.5. And then here's another one that's coming out at about 58.2. So if you're getting a CD and it's not pretty close to 58 grams, uh, you might not have a you might not have a pack in it and if you're getting CDs and they're around 56 grams it might not have a pack in it so so that's just something to keep in mind you've got different shrink wrap you've got a different actual product number on the back of the barcode and then you've got a you've got a different weight now imagine like, how many people would even think about that there's, there's a lot of people coming into the zoo now that weren't even around when the original hero quest was sold you know that that's the main reason I want to get this information out there I think a lot of people when it was there when they were there for the sale uh you know they knew that they knew that they switched to a, a version of the cd that didn't have a promo um i don't know i haven't heard of anyone actually ordering them to find out what the difference is that was a special request that uh, one of my patrons asked me to do so now we know but the, the other most important thing is that there's a lot of cycling when you look at like um people that are involved in collectible card mains and collectibles in general they tend to like cycle in and out and the average person stays in for like 12 to 18 months and then a certain percentage of them wander off and go to other things and then a certain percentage of those people come back later and, and mtg and pokemon are the same way people get into the hobby they stick with it for a while and then they bail and they go to something else right so the truth is like in metazoo right now it's been long enough you probably have a lot of new people here and i just didn't want you to see all this hero quest 2.0 stuff dropping this week and not know and then like you go to buy the original stuff and maybe you pick up these cds Maybe you even go to the Dimax site or you go somewhere online and you buy them for $7 because you think it's such a good deal. And it turns out none of them have MetaZoo cards in them. The music is great if you have a CD player, but none of them have MetaZoo cards in them. So anyway, now you know. So only buy, only buy the CDs where that, that code at the back by the barcode ends with a 1. If it ends with a 4, there's no promo okay so what i want to do now is just kind of go over this and show you exactly what i mean when i say these products are different so let's say my friend has two hero quest cds and he's selling me his collection and he goes i got these amazing steve aoki sealed metazoo genesis 1.0 cds you want to buy them and i'd be like oh yeah yeah I, I, I like me some genesis original genesis very very fancy yeah that's quite the fine wine you've got here let's take a look well I watched this YouTube video once and told me I should look for janky ridges of heat sealed edges and this first CD certainly does seem to check out with that. That video also said I should look at the back number and if it ends in a 6 and a 1, that's a good sign for a promo pack. I don't have a scale on me but those two things alone are making me feel pretty confident. That said, that said, I think I'm going to open this right in front of my friend just to make sure there's a promo pack inside. Lo and behold, boom, there it is. So the inside of a Genesis CD has this promo pack inside. And now you know, there you go. Now this other CD, I'm looking at this, right? Now I just actually 
remove the shrink wrap a second ago, but it had that other, had that smooth shrink wrap. It had no heat sealed edges. And lo and behold, I look on the back and the last two numbers are five and four instead of, what was this one? Six and one. So it has different numbers on the back because it's a different product. And if I open up this HeroQuest CD, there isn't even a pouch. There's nowhere to even put a pack. Remember this first CD, had the uh, had the little like carrier slot, like a little kangaroo pouch for the MetaZoo pack, but this one doesn't even have it. So be careful, gents. Be be cautious. Know the difference. Know that you don't want to pay fifty bucks for a CD that doesn't have a pack in it. That's the bottom line. And if you're new to MetaZoo, you might not even know that. You know, a lot of people have come and gone. A lot of people are new and they're getting into HeroQuest now with the advent of HeroQuest 2.0, which is landing right now, and they're going to want to go back and get some of the original HeroQuest and. I just didn't want you guys to get hosed. And a couple of my patrons said, uh, hey, do you know what the difference is? And I was like, you know what? There's enough people asking. We should probably make a video and get that information out there. So I wanted to share that with you. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. We're going to be opening MetaZoo HeroQuest 2.0 live on YouTube. Hopefully tomorrow if it arrives on time. If not, we'll kick it back to the next day. Have a fantastic week. So much to look forward to. This is Argos signing out.